How you so doing? Glad. Thank you, thank you. Neighbors greet Hamid Ghassemi as he and his wife take a walk. It's the first time they're seeing him since his arrest in Iran five years ago. Accused of spying for the rebel group Mujahideen Kalk, he faced torture and solitary confinement. His brother, a co-accused, died in jail. Hamid was eventually sentenced to death. Those times I would really, really <laughs> just lose my hope. But when I think about my family, my wife, my sister, my mom, and why I'm there, uh, that keep me going to, uh, to stay up, to hold my chin up. Keeping the world aware of Hamid's plight was his wife, Antonella Mega. She held rallies, used social media, and lobbied diplomats and politicians. Canada's government, including Prime Minister Stephen Harper, called for clemency. The couple believe that international pressure did have some impact on Tehran. At this point, we're just delighted. We're just over the moon that he's here, you know. But there may be repercussions on our life that we still don't know about. So it's early days. Hamid's eventual release and his rapturous return to Canada came after an amnesty for political prisoners announced earlier this year. He's certain that it's all related to Iran's new president, Hassan Rouhani, and his overtures for better relations with Washington and the West, launched last month at the UN General Assembly. It wasn't a coincidence that the same day that uh, Dr. Rouhani, he went to New York, I think he, he was just about to land, they let me out. Hamid Ghassemi is home now, an unthinkable ordeal has ended. But his brother's death in custody and the refusal of the authorities in Iran to apologize for that and for his own illegal detention, these are burning issues that he and his family hope they can settle one day. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Toronto.